Okay, I'm going to show you how the uh, reading is going to work this week. It's going to be pretty much the same as uh, every other week, just a slightly different task. So I'll have a look where the uh, reading is. And it might be down here. What's that one? Week six reading. There we go. Okay, so obviously uh, we've got our video up here of what we need to uh, focus on. Then obviously below it will be a video of this. Um, so it'll be how we do it on DB. And then you're going to have this like we have every other time. So we need to just copy and paste. Control C. Oops. Oh, going to be crazy today. We need to go down there. We need to get into that document and click Control V. Okay. Now, you do not have to have it set out like this. Okay, you can do it however you want. But what I'm looking for is you identifying the cause and effect from the event um, three times at least, and then give me a prediction on what would have happened if those events didn't occur. Okay, now up to you how you do it, um, but in it and how you write it, but that's basically the information that I need. Okay, so if you're one of those that just need this, use it. If you can sort of do it yourself, um, that's fine. So we go up here, we go to we go to read this video, uh, watch this video, sorry. Then we have a cause and effect, okay? So we because something happened, then this happened. So that is the event, okay? Then if my first event didn't happen, then I predict that this would have happened because, okay? There's always got to be, I, want, I need the evidence behind it. A few people aren't quite giving me the evidence. So... Then we go to the second event. If the second event didn't happen, then I predict that this would have happened, and I think this because. And the same for the third. And then the last activity we're doing is why do you think the author wrote this? Okay. So this goes with uh, the F&P where a lot of people are falling down of the author's purpose. So why do you think the author was, was writing um, these? Like what was the purpose behind it? There's always a purpose. Um, and why do you think that happened? Um, and that is it for the for the day, okay? And obviously, if you do your task one day, you'll get a diff different video the next day um, with some feedback on it, okay? But it needs to have three cause and effects. We did this in week four. So you should be good at that. Then we're doing a bit of predicting on what would have happened if that event didn't occur. So we practice predicting in week five, okay? Now we're just putting the two together. And then we're focusing on the author's purpose to see um, why we think people um, would write it. Um, and that is how we're doing our reading this week. Uh, as I said, it's pretty much the same as we have been doing, um, just uh, utilising two skills this week um, instead of just the one. So hopefully have a good week in reading.